Hello everyone. In this class, we are going to study about the Evaluated Receipt Settlement. This is also called as ERS in SAP MM. And ERS is an alternative method of processing the invoices. In this method, the organization settles vendor liabilities. The SAP system posts the invoice automatically. The PO details of the goods is considered during the settlement. Before implementing the ERS, there must be an agreement with the vendor about ERS process and applicable conditions. If you are not having the uh, whatever the conditions are the agreement, we will at least have to maintain the PIR. And what are the advantages of ERS if you want to see? The purchase orders can be closed quickly. No price and quantity variance in the invoice verification. No need to receive invoice from the vendor. Communication errors can be avoided here. And there are few prerequisites uh, for implementing the ERS in the SAP MM. What are the prerequisites if you want to see? In vendor master data, the indicator of evaluated receipt settlement must be activated. Uh, that one we can do it in the XK02 in the purchasing data view. The a confirmation is expected from the purchase order and GRIR indicators and the ERS indicator should be activated in the PO. Whenever we will be creating the PO, we'll going to activate these things. We'll just see where they will be. And tax code must be maintained in the PO item. These things are mandatory to create the ERS. Now I will just go and check the what are the different steps are involved in the ERS. If you have the vendor, just go to the XK02 and change the or tick the ERS that is evaluated receipt settlement uh, activation in the purchasing data view or else if you are creating the new vendor then we will going to tick that and we'll proceed next thing we'll going to create a PIR for the vendor and material combination next thing we'll going to create the PO that is purchase order and in purchase order or else in the PIR we should include the tax code in the PIR also we can include the tax code I'll going to show you where we can do that and we will going to create the GR through MB01 or else we can create it through the MIGO as well but we'll just create it through the MB01 and we can settle the ERS through the MRRL here there is no uh, invoice verification actually this is one alternative method for the invoice verification only now I'll directly uh, jump into the SAP MM and first we'll going to create one vendor and a material we can take the existing existing one also but as of now we'll just consider the new material and we'll proceed further I'll create MM01, one material I want to create. Industry sector, I'll take a mechanical and the material type that is raw material I have to consider. So LT01 raw material I'll take. Just click enter. These are the views. Your plant is LT01 and our storage location is also LT01. Click enter. I'll, I'll give as ERS material and the base unit of measure each I'll going to take. This one as general I'll take. Click enter, enter. Here purchasing group I have to mention, purchasing value key and uh, MRP type that is PD for us, MRP controller is LMC, lot size is EX, plan delivery date is 10 days I'll take and margin key LSK and uh, this one valuation class is 3000 for raw material. Just click enter and save this data. This is the material which I am creating for the uh, ERS purpose. If you are having the material, just proceed further. Okay. Uh, now I will going to create a vendor as well. For that slash and XK01, I will go. Click enter. Here, vendor I need to create. Vendor number will be taken from the system itself. And company code is LT01. Purchasing organization is LT01. And account group is LT01. Here, I will give the title as company. And the name, I will just give ERS vendor. And uh, just give the country click enter enter here I don't have to uh, means uh, uh, enter anything click enter and currency INR this one I'll just give everything and here the must thing we have to tick is auto evaluation GR settlement delivery this is for delivery I'll just click F1 here you can read about this data see evaluated receipt settlement the specifies that evaluated receipt settlement or the automatic generation of the Invoice according to an invoice plan is to be possible in relation to a material supplied or a services performed with regard to this vendor or this document item. 
so if you have uh, taken the ers settlement delivery then we can able to do the ers activity with this particular vendor and i'll go into uh, means click on this auto evaluation uh, uh, gr settlement also and if you read this one this is nothing but the return items this is for the return and this is for the delivery this indicates that automatic evaluation receipt settlement or of return items is possible for the vendor or this document item if you want to do the return also it is possible if you want to do the delivery also it is possible like that i am ticking here and now i'll just save this vendor this is important uh, thing here i'll just save this vendor so 2085 is my vendor now we'll just go and create pir the second step is to create the pir uh, for creation of the pir that is me11 we should take so the vendor is taken automatically whatever the material is there it is coming here plant i need to just give lt01 and uh, it is standard one only just click enter and here i have provided this uh, reminder of 5 10 15 that is perfect just click enter no ers tick is there you should not tick this one okay so this tick must not be there in the uh, purchase info record and here you can able to maintain the tax code this one you can maintain it here or else while creating the PO also you can able to maintain this. Now I'll going to give some standard quantity and a net price of around 50 rupees I'll going to provide it. Click enter just save this PIR. I have created the PIR. What is the uh, next step? We'll going to create the PO here. For PO just go to ME21N and uh, just take your vendor that is 200085 is my vendor. And I'll going to give the org data here, LT01, triple zero and LT01 I'll give material number. I have given this one quantity, pure quantity. I'll just buy a 10 quantity here. Net price don't give because we have already maintained the PIR. The price will be taken from the PIR only. There we have maintained 50 rupees. We'll just check it. LT01 and storage location LT01. Click enter. See here price it is taken automatically. And when you will go to the delivery tab, not delivery, when you go to the invoice tab, here you can see invoice receipt, GR based invoice receipt, ERS, all these three should be ticked in the PO and tax code should be maintained here. So that one also I have maintained at this particular end. Now just check this PO, check this, any errors are there, something like that, check this PO. So no messages during the check, save it now. I have created the PO here. Now we will going to create the GR through MB01 or else if you want to create with the MIGO that one also possible. I will just give MB01 here and I will show you through this also you can able to create the uh, GR. Moment type. Uh, what what moment type I will going to consider here? The same moment type. Okay. However, you will going to receive the material through 101 moment type. Right. Same moment type I will be taking it here. I need to just give the purchase order and the storage location is LT01 after that just click enter here purchasing document is not at released okay so because we have maintained the release strategy so we need to release this just copy it go to me29n to release the purchase order so i'll just give change po number here just give your po number and click enter see i have i'll going to release it from this just save this data now i have released just click enter see uh, 10 materials I am taking. You, if you want to change the quantity, you can change it here. Or else, uh, the whole 10 quantity if you are taking, just click on adopt plus details. See, it is adopting all these details here. Uh, unit of uh, uh, entry is 10 and storage location is LT0 means where you are receiving the material. That one it is taking and just save this data. Once you will going to save it, a uh, material document will going to create from this. A material document will going to create from here. See, 101 material that is posted. Document 101 posted. You can just check it through MB03. MB03, if you go, you will going to see the recent material. Just click enter. You can see the word material here. Detail from item, all these things you can able to do and header data also you can able to check. Everything it is possible here. After that, we just need to do the settlement. What is the T code for settlement? We will going to use the MRRL for the settlement of the ERS just click enter here I have given the company code based upon so many different criteria you can able to take out the whatever the ERS documents we have created 
over here like here i can take it through the company code under this company code how much ever ers documents are there i can able to fetch them rs based upon the plant you can to able to fetch uh, posting date of a goods receipt you can able to fetch vendor based upon this vendor how much ers documents are there you can fetch like that you will going to get whole number of data here and one more thing is there uh, we are taking a test run at the initial stage okay here if you are ticking this one it will be a test run if i am executing also it will just say what are the different things will be carrying out here i am executed now see this is the vendor and uh, uh, whatever the document material document we have created that is 101 and uh, year it has mentioned purchase order it has mentioned er settlement no messages was found for the partner like that it is given now it is just a test run so you just go back and remove this test run and we have to take the settled goods item plus plan delivery cost just take this and execute the things once we say settle invoice we are getting this message what is the message no message was found for the partner this is one error kind of thing so we have to rectify this how we can able to rectify this we have to create the condition record for the ers so that one if you have not maintained then we will we will going to maintain it right now slash n m r m1 we should go click enter here output type for which output type will be maintaining the condition for the ers see here create output condition record it is saying this one so what for which condition we are maintaining the uh, output that is for the ers just click enter here and here it is asking for key combinations whether i will going to maintain it at the company code and vendor level or else only at the company code level i'll just take the company code level and proceed further here i need to provide my company code that is lt01 and uh, this is the function okay uh, for what function i'll be maintaining this ers here you will going to find uh, there are so many different uh, functions are available here i'll just maintain it as a ordering address here oa and partner what is my partner 200085 is my partner and here it is asking for the medium uh, into which medium you are uh, uh, doing these conditions i'll say print output and uh, date it is asking i'll just maintain send immediately and language i'll going to maintain as en so just uh, maintain this and select this if you have maintaining any communications so through which you can able to proceed this just select this line item go to the communication here output device we have maintained it as a lp01 actually i'll just uh, give the drop down if you have maintained it will come okay lp01 it is maintained and if you want to give the vendor email id in the recipient and all we can able to give it here just save this details okay condition record saved now go back to your evaluated receipt settlement and uh, just go back now and just click on the settle goods item plus plan delivery cost execute this now one once we executed the uh, document one fi document is created now the settlement is done so this is what it is all about the ers that is the evaluated receipt settlement in the sap mm that's it guys and if you have any questions please do mention your questions in the comment box i'll definitely come back with the answers for that and thanks for watching my video please like share subscribe thank you